Okay, so this short video is just going to show me um, pretty much just messing around at the beach park, uh, letting you know a couple things that I know, and yeah, really just doing some exploring. So I hope you enjoy it. Hey, so I'm in this crazy, like, uh, pond that's being fed by fresh water up from the, uh, the hills over there. And, yeah, check this out. Oh. Yeah, it is totally freaking nasty. I'm, di I'm just like um, sinking into probably two feet of muck. Oh. Another kind of odd thing in this pond is that there's these like popping sounds from this muck. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's probably just the oxygen like entering all this muck and then it creates like a pocket and then it pops up to the surface because you can see there's just all these little holes everywhere. I don't think they'd be caused by any kind of animals. It's probably just, yeah, the oxygen creating bubbles and then it popping and coming to the surface. Can't really see where he's hiding, but I think it's probably a cardinal. Yeah, right under this Haulekoa tree, it's like this bird just going nuts. Oh, there he went. So I um, decided to walk in the uh, the water course rather than up on these banks because just so freaking muddy. I'm sinking in probably at least a couple feet. So this is pretty interesting too here. This is where there's an interface between like the water and this lava, which is called Popoihoi. And as you can see, it's just like forming the bottom of this water course. And over thousands of years, a bunch of sediment has come from the surrounding hills, which are behind all this dense vegetation. And it's really created like this cap on top of this lava and yeah you can see that it's exposed in this area because during high storms um whether they be rainstorms or like hurricanes all this sediments gets kind of pushed around and uh exposes this bedrock pretty great stuff to walk on compared to that really spongy kind of nasty mat the one that i was walking through before and here's just another example of like this crazy stuff that's growing in here it's really mossy. It, um, I don't know, it just looks like some kind of green sludge. Needless to say, it's kind of nasty, but at the same time, it supports a lot of different types of life forms, like, you know, your water bugs, your fish. Probably actually filters the water too in some ways. So, but yeah, you can see in the water right there, there's a bunch of small little fish. And I startled them, so they're kind of kind of going nuts right now. Environment attracts a lot of different types of animals. So there's this beautiful cane spider that I about ran into. And yeah, just absolutely gorgeous, but I wouldn't want to put my face right in his web. So I'm just going to turn around and go the other way. Yeah, 
probably one of the biggest fears in this type of grass are wild pigs because oftentimes they like to you know create a, a network of trails and they'll you know keep their young back here they'll sleep back here so yeah other than that you know it's important to keep really aware and just you know listen for noises and they'll let you know if you uh if you're in their territory yeah so this grass is probably oh god i don't know four feet five feet tall and uh i just call it california grass um this particular stuff, it has like all these little hairs on it that can actually be kind of sharp. So yeah, gotta be careful of that too. Yeah, this stuff is well over my head, but I can still see a couple palm trees up there in the surrounding hills and mountains. So I'm still doing pretty good. And I'm actually just trying to find the beach. So been going across this uh, huge field of grass and I ended up getting in all this thicket there's just like nowhere to walk and I just came came upon this like little hollowed out area probably from pigs so now I'm kind of out of this stuff but not really wow so I just got done getting through that stuff and so my landmarks What's interesting is that here's some more uh, uh, pohoyhoy. <coughs> that means we're getting closer to the beach. Oh, there we are. Here's a little guy. He uh, died and then got sunburnt or sun bleached. So, yeah, these things are crazy. He's like something I already ate everything inside of him, and he's just like this outer core or outer shell. He just falls apart. <laughs> oh, cool. Here's here's the same kind, but uh, he hasn't had a chance to dry out as much. So, still pretty cool. My next plan is to just keep walking along the coastline and uh, making it back to the camp. So, yeah, and probably see a couple interesting things along the way, so keep you posted. So yeah, this is a super cool like channel that's formed in between uh, two like basically lava. Well, not lava flows, but just like uh, kind of two like a dip in the lava. So as you can see, there's this nice pond it's like right over there and yeah what's unique about this is that it's deep and it's um it's sheltered so this is a really nice place to swim I mean you can see it's probably about maybe four or five feet deep and that white down there that's actually broken up pieces of coral kind of like up there you can see all that white next to the uh, the bushes right there so that's the same kind it's in there and it looks almost like turquoise because of the water this is even an area where I guess someone grabbed all these rocks that are sitting up here. Well, actually, they took them from this this hole and then pretty much threw them up here just so they could have a little bit of room. And a lot of times the ancient Hawaiians and even Hawaiians today will um, make these kind of pools and they can be, serve as like places for the kids to swim and relax or even um, fish ponds. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. And this is where it's being fed through here so yeah someone went ahead and removed a bunch of rocks and created like a little swimming pool which is pretty common out here because the coast is just so so rugged and you can just see it over there and it's just fantastic how 
all the waves cause a lot of different like um, types of formations in this basalt. You can see here there's just a lot of like uh, holes in it just caused by the gradual erosion of the basalt. And um, yeah, some really crazy, beautiful um, organic designs. I mean, it looks just as fantastic. Oh, and there's another one of our uh, dried out crabs. So he's gonna turn pretty much white because of the sun. So now I've made it back to the uh, ponds, the ones where I was at the beginning of this video. And yeah, this pretty much ends uh, my little adventure.